Jennifer. That's your problem. Anyway, you know I mentioned I'd like to pay homage to other shows on this one. So right now I'd like to pay my homage to Blind Date. I responded to a letter I got from a member of the public asking me out. It reads, Ruby, my dear, I don't want to beat around the bush. I've watched you on television and decided I would like to have you as my woman. I am a bit of a wild man living alone for many years on the moors. I am waiting for you, Ruby, as I think you might have met your match in me. Your affectionate admirer, Lori Smith. P.S. Dress rustic. I don't get many of these. So I went to Cornwall to meet my blind date. What are you doing? I'm just co-hosting. Cheese ball. <laughs> Me, rural. I'm standing here on the um, patio of my future date where the motif seems to be early cemetery. I always end up with men like this. I always go out with the kind of guy who keeps the stuffed mother in the basement. Oh my God. Come here, woman. Come here. Come on. Oh, you're lovely. Here. I'm Laurie Smith, and I'm in charge now. You met your match, baby. Oh, gotcha. And you're gonna have with me, and you're gonna like it. Type-wise, I don't think this is gonna work out. Now, it's like this. <laughs> I've no rent, Yeah. no mortgage, no water rates, right. no dustbin rates, and I don't pour for women who want fur coats. Right. Okay? Oh, I'm licking my lips. I want, I want to love somebody, and them to love me for what I am. I don't care if a girl comes through that door and she's been a prostitute, that she's in rags. I'm, I could probably love her more. You see? That's encouraging. I could say, <laughs> if she comes with a million quid, I'll love her more. <laughs> you bugger. So where are we going on our dream date? <clears throat> on our dream date, darling? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take you through the bracken, through the moors, you know. And all the wild ponies out there, I'm sure you'd like it. And. Uh, it's very romantic out there, you know. I'm not, I'm not an outside kind of gal. You've been tossing around the bloody London with all that so-called opulence, but you're not happy. And I, look, I can show you a whole different way of life that's real. Yeah. Can and we take a taxi? No, we're going to walk. We're walking out there. That's not what that is. Guess what this is then, Ruby? What is it? It's a pistol. It's a pistol. Well... A bull's reproduction organ made into a stick. That's very romantic. Thank you. <laughs> Take a man's dignity. You can be poor. I have nothing. But you still got my dignity as a human being, have I not? Yeah, you do. So therefore, I decided I would rob a bank. Clearly and calculating. I sat in this bloody railroad one night. I shall I? And I met up in the morning. Yes, I would. And I said to her, Give us some money, honey. I'm loaded. And as I was on my way, the sirens were all bloody roaring outside. I thought, Christ, I've declared war on Canada. You see? I think it was just the robbing of the bank. That well, maybe. Them. And then all the people were like, thief, thief, thief. So I thought, to hell with you lot. I merely took a $1,000 out of this bloody big bag I had, and I threw it up in the air like that. And, as I expected, they all run to pick it up. So they were moralizing one bloody hand and picking up the money with the other. Did you get caught? Oh, well, finally, I was deported back to the United Kingdom. And here I am today on Bob and Moore's. That's a beautiful story. <laughs> I don't think I'm for you. Uh, no, not really. No. No, no. I somehow, what do you think? Do you think this will work well, out if, between I, us? I must admit, it would be rather difficult, you know. I mean, I uh, would be difficult. To, to, well, we might be all right having a love affair, but, uh, you know, I don't think really that beyond that he would. No. Can I just tell you something, Laurie? To be yeah. honest, yeah. as life's partner, I would not select you. Really, I wouldn't. Look, the trouble is with you, I find you want to bloody well dominate a fella. Dominate? I haven't said anything all afternoon. I've been quiet as a mouse. I'm Laurie Smith. Yeah, so. And I, and I wear the pants around here. Well, I'm Ruby Wax. I have a television show. What's the big deal here? So what? At least I didn't rob a bank. I had to rob a bank. I didn't have a TV show, did I? This is Kathleen O'Connor.
Connor, my next guest, once nun, now housewife. <laughs>